This is cool. I would have never guessed. I purchased at the Goodwill for $7.99 and took an offer for $120 in less than 24 hours. Another reseller purchased it. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about the best February bolos. And these bolos come from my Facebook group and my Bolo, my Bolo Buddies YouTube members. Um, in this video, I'm going to share with you their big money bolos. I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And if you don't know what a bolo is, it's an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. So let's get started with the first one. And this one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Lola's Trunk Treasure. She does not have a YouTube channel, but she has an eBay store. It will be linked down below. If you check out the eBay stores down below, you can follow them by clicking on the little heart and that will let you know when they post new items and if they send out a coupon. So it's a great way to also learn because these members are Bolo finders. So YouTube channels and eBay stores of the YouTube members are linked down below. Definitely go and check them out, sub them up and give them a follow. So what did she sell? She said paid $3 each at the Goodwill. After 20% discount, buyer was all in for $61.46. And I'm gonna have to get a little close here because this is tiny. It says Bradford Exchange Nightmare Before Christmas Delightfully Frightful Sandy Claws. And the other one is Bradford Exchange Nightmare Before Christmas Delightfully Frightful Frightful Santa's Shoes. And these are Christmas ornaments. And it looks like they went to one buyer and the total was $61.46. Yes, Nightmare Before Christmas. Definitely, definitely, definitely be on the lookout for it. The Christmas ornaments, I have had some that have sold in the $50, $60 range. And they're just the Hallmark like plastic ones. These are Bradford Exchange. Mine were Hallmark. So look for the Hallmark also. Paid $6 at the Goodwill. Took a few weeks to sell. After 20% discount, buyer is all in for $64.75. It is a vintage Tupperware five-piece almond microwave stack cooker. Ha! That's what it looks like. I probably would have walked right past that. Paid a dollar at a local thrift store and sold within a few days. After 20% discount, buyer was all in for $72.94. This is also from Lola's Trunk Treasures. It is a retired pink elephant's Vera Bradley large duffel bag. There it is. Big old duffel bag. I got a big old duffel bag from the Goodwill Benz once. And I got home and I realized that the thing was like all ripped up and I was like, man, that stinks. This was like a really nice bag. I remember looking it over while I was there and I'm like, I'm pulling that strap off and I'm going to sell that strap. And you know what? I did. And I probably made my money back. I didn't probably make much of a profit because it was a big, heavy bag, but, um, I made my money back, <laughs> parted out. Right. Um, I, I could have just thrown the whole thing away. Or I took advantage of the fact that it had a strap that unhooked, could be washed, and I sold it. So just a little tip. I also do that with battery compartments on toys that I get from the Goodwill bins that don't work. Typically, those toys sell for 20 to 30 bucks, and a lot of times people will need a battery compartment. It is a long tail item, but that battery compartment will cover usually what I paid for the toy. So um, that's what I do if I find things that don't work or have issues. I try to part it out in some way to at least make my money back. I purchased at the Goodwill for $7.99 and took an offer for $120 in less than 24 hours. Another reseller purchased it. His store is all DVDs. I made a great profit and he will win. He will too. Win, win. So bought it for $7.99, sold it for $120, and the person sells DVDs. That is crazy. I wonder what it's really worth. It is Quentin Tar Tar Tarantino. Tar Tar I should know how to say that, right? I'm old enough to know how to say that. Quentin Tarantino Ultimate Collection. It's a Blu-ray disc, eight disc set. And this is what it looks like. 
All right. Got this Ralph Lauren sheet set at a local Goodwill. I paid up for it, $8.99. I almost did not buy them. I comped them on eBay solds. One used sheet in this pattern sold for 45. A used one sold for 45. I listed them for 200, took a best offer of 100. Buyer paid shipping. I know, I know, I should have held out for more, but nine into 100 is okay with me. Buyer was very happy when she received her sheets. Certain vintage Ralph Lauren sheets are definitely worth picking up 100%. She probably, probably, she probably, probably could have gotten more. But like she said, you know, flip that nine bucks into a hundred and just move it. Uh, Ralph Lauren vintage Dylan's Grove multicolor floral twin sheet set. And it is a twin sheet set. And, uh, you know, you're not going to get as much for a twin as you would a queen or a king. So definitely a great uh, bolo. This one comes from PNW Flips. She said, I found this in the, I found this back brace at my favorite thrift store. I grabbed it for $5 and it sold within days of listing at full asking price of $55 plus shipping. And PNW Flips is her eBay store and her YouTube channel. So check her out down below. And it is an EXOS form back brace. It's adjustable. Given to me, zero cost. Sold on Poshmark for $100 plus shipping. Baltimore Black Sox, Jeff Hamilton, pinstripe baseball jersey size 4XL. That is pretty cool. That looks old, but I don't know if it's just meant to look old or if it's vintage. It's trading post pickers. And my, while my wife was drooling at all the kitchenware at this estate sale, I found this beauty in the basement for $8. Comps showed zero listed and three sold. 98, 99, and 100. I tested it when I got home and all was good. It sold within an hour or so for full price. Customer also told me if I come across any more to message him first. Also, to test slot cars, use a nine volt battery and touch the two metal strips on the bottom. Wheels should turn. Okay, so this is from Trading Post Pickers and that's how they said to test slot cars. I have no idea, I've never tested a slot car. I know that I've sold them and I just sell them untested. So that is interesting. My husband actually tested something for me with a nine volt um, battery as well. Like I'm not doing it. Like I'm not getting shocked. I don't know how that works. Can you get shocked from a nine volt battery? <laughs> That's probably a dumb thing to say. But anyway, this is what it is. It's an uh, Aurora model motoring uh, real racing and sold for $99.95 plus shipping and seems safe. I don't know. Have somebody help you or do your research before you do it. All right. This one comes from Grinning Grandma and this is her YouTube channel. Again, not a great big honking bolo. <laughs> she cracks me up. Um, as most of my sales are around 50, but some interesting info on this one. This play fireman's helmet is from the 70s TV show. Oh, is, is from, is it? No, the 70s T show. Uh, the badge was attached to the inside of the helmet. The badge is the item people most wanted. And I received several requests to sell it separately. However, the helmet is in not so hot condition. Get it? Fire helmet? Groan. <laughs> and I was afraid if I separated them, nobody would want the hat plus the mailing cost. Three bids were received from the same person. It is a vintage emergency 51 toy firefighter helmet and badge, 1975 Playco Toys TV show. And it sold for $45. And she said, I had it a long time and she got it from a locker. So I think she means a storage unit. We found this vintage new with tags LL Bean Goose Down Parka at the Goodwill. Luckily, it was 25% off day for military veterans, so purchased for only 13. Listed at 279 and accepted an offer of 230 within 24 hours. Could have held out for higher, but being toward the end of winter, we wanted the quick flip. Now on to finding our next big bolo. Good luck out there, fellow buddies. And it is a vintage LL Bean men's large tan Oh, it's a large, tall, tans Gore-Tex Goose Down Parka. And it looks like it retails for $400, and she sold it for $230. Bought red one at a yard sale for a dollar and bought the blue one in a box lot at an auction. That's interesting. Average price of goods in box lot was a dollar. 
posted on three platforms November 2nd of 22, hoping to sell as a Christmas gift. Had no idea what to price at. Even after doing comps, felt they were worth more. So listed the pair high at 116. Sold on two, February 21st for offer of $75. On offer up, let go. Was happy to see them go. They were in perfect condition. Oh, wow. An offer up um, app sale. And this is what they look like. They're a pair of Mandarin Asian figural jacket vase, rare Celadon blue and oxblood red. Come on, Kimon, Kimon. This is what they look like. How weird is it that she found two of these on two separate occasions? I've never seen anything like these before. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. I bought this Oswald plush at the Goodwill for 99 cents and listed it for 225. Within just a few days, I had offers as much as 141, but I knew that I should hold out for more. After two weeks, I accepted a best offer of 190. I suppose that I could have held out for more, but it cost me $1. I am very satisfied with this flip. Hit Entertainment Oswald the Octopus plush stuffed animal Nick Jr. Viacom 2003. I have not heard of this one. Uh, Oswald the Octopus. I definitely am going to be on the lookout. I know there's one octopus that's like reversible that's been in my Vero videos that will get you a policy violation. And I wonder if this is the one that it's like mimicking. And that's why it's like considered a counterfeit. But um, I don't know. So definitely be careful and make sure you got the real deal. Got this at the Goodwill bins for $1.29 a pound. Again, another cheap bins, $1.29 a pound. That is great. Last year, so paid maybe $1.85 total. Buyer was all in for $43.91. It is a 1984 Wuzzles Bumble Lion 12-inch Bumblebee plush Hasbro Softies tag toy Disney. How cute is that? I've never seen that one. Definitely going to be on the lookout. This one comes from Stellar Seller Sam, and this is her YouTube channel. She is a Bolo Buddies member. She said, oh my goodness. This is cool. I would have never guessed. I was on my way to check out at the bins and grabbed this pretty Stanley tumbler on a whim. Looked it up and when I got home. Had no idea they were so sought after. The one I had was a limited release color and was sold out everywhere. It was also not available on eBay. So I listed it high knowing mine was the only one selling in that color. Got full asking price of $200 in less than 12 hours of listing. They paid shipping and even had a little damage. Talk about a bolo. She paid $2 for it. That is awesome. Great story too, right? You know, she just thought it looked cool and grabbed it on the way out. That is awesome. All right, here's another one from her. All right, Courtney, you get the credit for sure on this sale. Ooh, I like it. Uh, the Cubes and the Cosmo Robot. They were at the far corner of a bin. I about fell in the bin trying to reach them. I actually found the robot and charger as well. I decided to part it all out. Thank you so much for working on these videos for all of us. Oh, you're welcome, Sarah. Thank you for saying thank you. Um, these are pretty cool. They're Ankai, A-N-K-I, Cosmo Cube set of three, and they sold for $75, and she about fell in the Goodwill bins trying to get these. You know what? Some footage of that might go viral. You might want to work on that one. All right. Got this at an estate sale in a box of papers that looked like trash. It was in a bottom cupboard behind the entrance door on the second day of the sale. Here's your lesson. You don't have to, to first be the first to find the good stuff. And you have to keep your eye out for the nooks and crannies where treasures hide. I paid $10 for a whole box of items I picked up that day. So I was into this for less than a dollar, probably. I took a best offer of $225. Zach McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders, IBM PC X2, I'm sorry, XT PS dash or slash T Tandy Incomplete. I don't know what any of that means, but this is what it looks like. And he sold it for $225. So that's awesome. Found two of these 1970s milk glass bottles at our local thrift store a couple months ago. Paid $5 each. One sold within a few weeks, and the second one just sold for full asking price of $85. It says 1970s BYU Dairy Products Laboratory Half-Gallon Vintage Glass Milk Bottle with Handle. 
yeah, some of these old glass milk bottles can definitely be a bolo. This one comes from Nina's Jewels, and this is their YouTube channel. Definitely go and sub them up down below. Purchased for $7.57 at a local thrift store. It was purchased from us before and returned. Then we resold it at a higher price for $60 on best offer. Hee <laughs> hee. I love it when that happens. It's like somebody returns it and you sell it for more. This brand sells well, but the pattern is a bolo and is rare and hard to find. So um, it's a good brand, they're saying, but the pattern is what made this sell for more. It is Cavu, C-A-V-U. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right white right um it says menagari Myth mythical creature compact crossbody canvas sling backpack very cool item also comes from nina's jewels purchased at a realtor run estate sale they had amazing prices paid just four dollars and sold for full price of 79 dollars 99 it is a super 8 video camera with all the accessories and it is sankyo and this is what it looks like. And it looks pretty cool. And I believe they had a YouTube video on it because she was talking to the realtor about her card and they like shouted out the realtor. I think this is probably that same sale. So definitely go check them out on YouTube. Check out their eBay store. All of that stuff for everybody that was mentioned in this video is linked down below. Go show them some love with a sub and a heart on their eBay stores. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know which one was your favorite bolo. Leave me a comment down below that says, how about an emoji of an owl? And if you can't find an owl, just write the word hoot. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching. Buddies, YouTube's mem- <laughs>